Hello, I'll be showing you how to do a CFL to LED light conversion. This is the retrofit kit that I got. These are the things needed or tools needed. Um, basically, a regular wire snipper, a blade for stripping the wires, uh, a Phillips tip screwdriver, and a flashlight of some sort. And I'd like to have a rag with some soap on it to wipe my hands clean. Uh, so I'm gonna open the box. As you can see, it comes with this socket and this adapter. The light itself, make sure your hands are clean when you're handling this because it's white. Um, it has a gasket and it's straightforward. And these are the clips that'll hold the light fixture inside the can. We want to leave these these uh, zip zip ties on for now, and we want to disconnect here and take this off. And what we're gonna do is cut these wires here and toss this part out. All we need is the wire and this connector. Always make sure. The power switch is on the off position. Okay, so after you make sure the power is off at the light switch, we're gonna remove the CFL light, uh, light bulb. Um, and this is one of those uh, four prong CFLs, so you just pull it off. I hate these things, they cost a lot and they burn out too quickly. So that's why I'm changing them. And so after you pull out the CFL light bulb, you want to pull the housing down. And so sometimes it can be a little difficult, uh, but it doesn't matter. It has these uh, holders there. Sometimes they fall off. You're not going to be using this housing anymore. So just as long as you pull it out and you know put it aside. So you will see, once you pull it out, you have the can, and the can is held up there by three uh, Phillips head screws. The, the next step is to remove the can, and you will remove three screws here. And at this point, I'm gonna slide the, the can down, and there you go. Perfect. And inside the can, you have this um, a socket where the CFL light uh, bulb went into. We, we need to remove that and cut the wires. Okay, so once the can is down, um, you will see up in the attic space the ballast so you want to place a flashlight up in the ballast uh, up in the attic space um, so that you can see and work easily so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a flashlight that's directly opposite the ballast so see see how you can see it much more easily now Okay, so the next step is to remove this CFL connector socket. We're going to remove that. In this case, uh, for this can, like every can is different. Um, you see that it's got these uh, little pieces. This is what's holding it. So what I'm going to do is just push one of these in. And it just, you know, I'll, I'll put the tape back on. It falls in and so now it's now it's loose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut cut these wires as close to this um, connector as possible and we're gonna throw away that connector because uh, we're gonna strip the wires and connect them to the new light 
Okay, so up here in the attic, you will see the there's a, wi a wire junction box that houses all the wires, and behind it is where the ballast is. Now, the way to open this uh, junction box is there's a there's a clip here. You just push with one hand and one finger, and just pull the cover off. And we're just gonna um, put this cover down. And in here, in the junction box, you can see all of these wires. The first thing you want to do is you want to take the uh, ground wire, which is, as you can see, there it's bare wire, bare copper wire. The rest of these wires are um, uh, covered with um, coating. This is the only wire that we're not going to take the nut off of. Um, and so this stays up there and the rest you can pull out and completely remove all of them. Okay, so once you take the wire nuts off, you want to separate all of the wires that are coming out of the ballast, which is, you see that hole there in the box? That behind that hole is where the ballast is and these are all the wires coming out of the ballast. You want to separate all of those and just put them, put them to the side because you, we're not going to use any of these wires, none of them. All we care about is, are the wires that are coming from the, this can, this can. You see inside the blue and red wires? You see when I fo follow these uh, these wires, they this is where they're at. And these are the ones we need, the, the red and blue wires. And these wires are what's gonna connect to the black and white wires coming into the box. That's it. All of the other wires are completely unnecessary to us because they only serve a purpose when you have the CFL, not the LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip these wires so that I can connect them to these. And remember, we wrote it down. Blue always goes to the white and reds always go to the black. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this off. You want to snip it as close as possible. There's one red, two red, one blue, two blue. There you go. This is useless, so we throw this away. And now what I have to do is I need to strip these wires. And for these ones, I want to strip them to about, I want to strip these to about a quarter of an inch. So be careful with the blade. What I'd like to do is just go around the same spot and then just use my fingernail to pull it off, pull the cover off. And this is kind of what you get, uh, about a quarter of an inch of, uh, of wire. So you want to do that to all four of these that are in the can itself. Please be careful. Don't cut yourself. So once you do these, um, you have to do the wires up here as well. So what I'm going to do is strip these wires now. Now these up here will be stripped to about three quarters of an inch. So longer than the ones down there. And the reason is the ones up here will go into these, uh, will connect to these wires up here. And these have the bigger wire nuts. Whereas the ones in the can, The ones in the can have these smaller wire nuts. So if you can see in, in comparison, um, the big 
wire nut compared to the small ones. So in, for the big big one, you have you need more wire. Um, so these wires that are going to go to the big big wire nuts, we're going to strip these and give ourselves about three quarters of an inch of wire. Okay. So what I want to do is these two blue wires kind of twist them together a little bit and then undo the the wire nut up here with the white wire nut put them together blue with the white and screw the wire nut back on as tight as you can all the way until you can't twist it anymore and then once you're done pull on them to make sure that it's taut and we want to do the same with the red ones first twist the red ones together Unscrew the, the wire nut from the black wires. And put them together and twist the wire nut tight, as tight as you can. And then pull on the wires to make sure nothing's loose. Okay, so that's you're halfway there. The next step is to connect these to the connector for the new new lighting. So I'm gonna pull on these wires until I have enough slack. And then I'm going to grab this, remember this came in the kit, we're going to cut this off as close to the base as possible, both wires, there you go, we don't need this so we're going to throw this away, and we need to strip these quarter of an inch, And just twist these because it has those real thin um, wires in there and you want to twist them together okay so the next step is to grab two of these uh, wire nuts that you took out of the ballast remember you took four of them out of the ballast uh, from those unnecessary wires you just need two of them now we need to connect these red ones that are in the uh, can, the red ones to the black one. So you just put them together. tight as you can pull on them to make sure they're not coming off and then do the same the blue ones always go with the white And pull on them to make sure they're top. All right, excellent. Now what we do is we will test test the lights. And the way to do that is grab your new light fixture and connect these. They only go in one way, so if you do it the opposite way, it won't it won't go in. 
So once the terminals are connected together, we want to switch on the lights to see if we did a good job. So the lights should come on. There you go. So as long as the lights come on, it's done right. We can put everything back in its place and we're done, basically. First step is to switch the lights off and then disconnect this terminal so that we don't have the light hanging. We're going to go inside the junction box here and remember the twisted useless wires we're going to try to fit them in there you could cut them away but i like to just keep them in there it doesn't really matter so there you go i just push them in and then you push the the red and black wires and blue and white wires and the ground wire all inside the junction box. And we're going to put the cover back on. So the cover goes on like this. There's a little tab here. That tab goes onto the junction box and then you just on the right side here you just push it in and you will hear a click and that's it so this is now the most important step I've, I've made this mistake before do not forget your light bulb flashlight it up in the attic take that out I forgot it once and I had to take this whole thing apart after putting it together. So don't forget to take your flashlight out because you don't need it anymore. You, you're done with the work up in the attic. These holes here are what hold the small screws. So keep, keep those in mind and you have the holes here, the slots where the holes go. So you want to kind of remember where those are. And slowly just push this in. Okay. I'm going to screw these back on. All right. So now we connect it back up. And this is when you can take the zip ties off. You see how it springs open and there are these um, these slots here these wires will go into and that's what holds your new fixture up into the to the can and you just basically push it up and voila that's it now we just turn the light on. There you go. Well, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, I think it looks much better. The CFLs never looked this bright before. I hope you can actually uh, follow these steps and, you know, do them yourself. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.